Hello, this is Nicole with the Diana Initiative for Hacker Summer Camp 101, and I am here with Baby Bell. Can you introduce yourself? Hello, 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 hello. Uh, my name is Baby Bell, and I am here with Embedded Systems Village. What is Embedded Systems Village? What do you do? <laughs> um, so we do a lot of things, but uh, Embedded Systems Village, basically what we look at is um, we saw a bunch of villages at DEF CON. Um, we have a lot of a lot of our team members have experience with coming to DEF CON for, for, for many DEF CONs. Um, I won't reveal like how many, but um, we what we did realize is that some villages focus mainly on the hardware side or they mainly focus on the software side. And so what we wanted to do is that in embedded devices, um, we wanted to focus on the entire process of going from a PCB board, being able to find serial, get serial, extract that firmware, being able to analyze it, decrypt it if need be, and then being able to find um, some wins that way and finding some exploits. Um, what what are things to look for and so on and so forth. So that's kind of like what we mainly focus on. Yeah. So it's an end-to-end -end for like your IoT style devices and other smarter devices? Other smart home devices uh, ranges from a whole bunch of different devices, from military devices, um, all the way to like from routers, IP cams. We have spec ops um, devices as well, like a communications device that we had. Um, uh, we have a, a whole range, like a thermal cameras in there as well. Just all embedded devices all in there. Awesome. So and medical how did you... devices as well. <laughs> oh, and medical devices. Uh, there's been a lot of interesting talks on medical devices if anybody wants to go look at the DEF CON YouTube channel for those. So... How did you get involved with Embedded Systems Village? So funny enough, um, I was a co-op student. Um, so I uh, went. I live in Canada, and so I went to school um, in Canada. And so when I went there, I went through the co-op program, uh, which is kind of like for people in the States, it's like the internship, but I get paid uh, to do it while I go to school. So it helps a lot. Um, and so anyways, I did there. I went there at Loudmouth Security. And so I went through Loudmouth Security and uh and and we help uh with the villages first uh, uh we were helping out um with iot village and then um they were the content creators behind that that was my first year and then for the past two years uh we we went and we decided to uh open embedded systems village so that was that's been my last three years um so the past two years of um uh, been with Embed Systems Village and it's been absolutely phenomenal. And and this year, being able to get our black badge, which was super exciting to get. Um, so big celebrations for that. Um, so we are very excited. That is very cool. And black badges always make things a little more exciting, especially because they're a surprise at the end. They are. Oh my gosh, there's so many high fives around. You know, when uh, when you get the news, you're just all just like did we get it? I don't know. And, and then, and then once you get it, it's just a sigh of relief and then big high fives is like, yes, but big like fist pumps in the air. And it's a, it, it is a very good feeling. All right. So you've got me intrigued. I would like to check it out next year. What resources should I start with and what maybe homework should I do kind of in preparation so I can hit the ground running when I get there? Yeah, of course. Um, so I would s probably say if uh, if you're looking to go for the 101 labs, like, or if you're just going, just kind of wanting to dip your toes into the water, we do offer a bunch of different uh, a bunch of different content with a bunch of our partners. Like we had Raspberry Pi this year. Um, we had uh, Hextree.io. We have a bunch of other single volunteer pr uh, content providers uh, uh, that that bring in content as well, um, as well as CTF content, which I'll get to in a second. Uh, but we have hardware labs and 101 labs. So if you're going, if your interest is in one of those types of things, you don't need any anything at all. It is full step by step. Um, instructions and you don't like maybe the one thing I might suggest would maybe uh, brush up on some Linux, uh, get familiarize yourself with it. But even if you don't, don't worry about it. it is copy and paste commands with uh, with a browser terminal built into the 101 labs that you can just follow along and just read. So as long as you can read the read the uh, descriptions and everything, um, you can go right on through. Um, and so, but if you're going to the CTF or if you want to just want to try it out, you know, just kind of like go from maybe try the workshops and, 
and the one-on-one labs and then see if you can get a couple of devices. Um, some of the things that I would suggest is that there is the IoT handbook uh, textbook that, that, that you can get online. Um, some other things as well as that all of our CTF devices that we have are real have real life exploits. Um, so real life CVEs. And so you can take a look around. So one thing that that uh, that I do and and some of the some of some of the other people here on the team is that if you want to train, maybe go to a here in Canada, we have a value village. Um, so I don't know what Salvation Army is, is that in the uh, state? Goodwill Salvation Army. Goodwill. Uh, yep. Yeah, go to go to one of those and you'll see like a bunch of different routers, maybe just a couple of smart devices um, and kind of go through there. And sometimes what I'll do is that I'll look up if it has a CVE or if it has like I'll look up the model number and just look up an exploit. If it's got one, sweet, I'm buying it. I'm taking it home for like five bucks. And then it's like, sweet, there's my own little CTF. I can try to see if I can crack that. So um, I would probably suggest some of those things if you wanted to try to get into the CFTF, try to go through a few of those and. Um, yeah, I think that I think that's a, a little bit um, maybe familiar si familiarize yourself with like UART JTAG for the hardware side of things. Um, but again, if you just want to get your toes and just to see if you even like it, just come on down to the village and we got a bunch of labs for you. And so it sounds like there's uh, CTF and the workshops. Do you also have talks like events, meetups? What kind of gamut of available activities are there uh, during DEF CON? Yeah, so um, we do have, with some of our partners, we do have some walkthroughs, um, some of the challenges that they bring. Um, so this year, some, uh, some other of our partners, you know, um, for one of our um, individual content providers, uh, he did a walkthrough in terms of uh, his wireless um, his wireless workshop that he had going on. So we had a full walkthrough to walk people through that. People who had been trying it all DEF CON, you know, but on the final day had a few had a few sections throughout the day where he would describe it and, and walk through it. Um, and then uh, also for Raspberry Pi, they also have a bunch of uh, workshops there as well, same as Hextree. And then we also had um, on the CTF side, um, there was Toyota, who was also there brought in a really cool board and all that but uh um but yeah so the, there's a there's a bunch of different stuff happening there um in terms of like walkthroughs and if you just come and talk to us we'll give you a whole bunch of different stories because everybody who's there is in the industry and so i know that the loudmouth team we love to we would love to talk with you guys and be able to give back to the community Awesome. And what if there's like some kids that are coming with their parents or maybe somebody who's 17 and has figured out how to attend DEF CON? Are they welcome in the village? Is there any activities kind of for them? 100%. So we've had uh, we've been able to help out with the uh, with the kids CTF. Um, I'm forgetting what it is. Um, next but they gen, were, but I think. Next gen. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So they were able to come in uh, with their parents. Um, they can go through the 101 labs. And uh, they're fully like if they we have a bunch of stickers. We also have made, like in some years in past years, we've had comic books for some of the kids as well. Um, so we have a bunch of goodies that we uh, that will that we can give out for for people who want some free swag, uh, as well as giving some education uh, and, and being able to, for a lot of our uh, giveaways. We even give away some of our P some PCB boards. For those who it's their first time at DEF CON. So, you know, if you are 17 and you figured out how to get into DEF CON, you know, you, and it's your first time, or even if you're like 30, 40, or whatever age, 90 and it's your first DEF CON, come on in. We got some stuff for you as well. So, um, definitely, it's the entire village is all about the community and giving back to it. And so, um, 100% people of all ages and all experience levels. Great. And uh, do you happen to sell like, I'm sure people have heard the term badge life and it means like the blinky thing. So you get a badge from DEF CON, but you also have extra blinky badges. Do you have, you mentioned stickers, uh, blinky badges or uh, SAOs or anything like that that you sell uh, throughout the year or at the event? Yes, we do. Um, and so we, we, so last year we had a shard, um, which went into, because it was, it was, um, or I should say uh, DEF CON 31. Defcon 31, we had a we had a shard, um, which was a serial to USB adapter, um, so you could connect UR JTAG. So it had utilization as well as being a part of the CTF challenge itself. This year, um, we had a ray gun. <laughs> so this is a mini EMP gun, and so 600 volts go along the along the tip, and it's got a little pew 
you can, and uh, all the code is on GitHub. Um, so it's it's actually funny. Um, I, I I just have my badges just right like sitting right beside me, right beside my desk. So very fun that that uh, that we actually got to talk about this. But it has uh, I believe it has nine different sound bites, and of course you can add, add your own. They're all wave files, but um, we do sell them um, online. It's uh, it's at our shop, uh, so you can go look on our Twitter. All the links um, are there. Um, and uh, so you can go to our social medias and they're there. But um, yeah, so we've actually we actually glitched the this year, uh, the DEF CON 32 badge. And so we were able to glitch that one. So it's uh, creating it was creating quite a uh, quite a buzz. Uh, so that was <laughs> um, it was, the it was puns, they are strong. <laughs> they are strong. They are strong. And uh, but it was it was a very it was a very fun uh uh, very fun designing the badge um the uh there was a lot of people on the team who put a lot of hours into it it was a lot of fun um so we still have some for sale um but uh but you can also get them at the booth as well so if they decide that they are into the blinky bling they can definitely <laughs> go get some bling from you all uh and yep. for anybody who just looks for hashtag badge life you can get an idea of the great variety of bling that will be available at Hacker Summer Camp. Oh yeah. Now, do you just have Embedded Systems Village at DEF CON or do you pop up at any other events throughout the year? Um, so actually we do uh, a few uh, events throughout the year. So we do, um, it changes from year to year based on availability from all the volunteers on Embedded Systems. Um, as we are a nonprofit, so it is like it is all based off of our volunteers and their time. So, um, but I know that we have a few in Canada. Um, so there's besides Ottawa that we go to. There's Hackfest we've gone to NSEC in the past. So that's all in the in the more e like kind of like easternish uh, region of Canada, just above New York, um, near well New York, New York same place um and then there we've also done b-side san francisco as well and then there's there's many more that that we can go and we're always looking for um for more to go to so um so those are just to name a few but but we're we uh we are there for defcon and a few others and then you mentioned nonprofit and volunteering so if somebody wanted to donate uh what would be the ways that they could donate either their time or money or other things that you're looking for yeah, so if uh, if you want to donate, you can contact us by any of our uh, platforms. So Instagram, Twitter. Um, we just actually just started our Discord. Um, so if you want to get involved in with that, make sure you look on our Twitter, Discord, LinkedIn. Even we're on LinkedIn, um, so uh, you can take a look all there and get in contact with us if you want to go there. But also, we are always looking for content providers and partners. Um, so if you're if you're a company um, and want to come on and provide some content or if you want to help financially to help us bring content um every year um like our platinum donor for this past year uh six gen um so uh if you want to help out in any way possible um we would love to join uh, you would love to have you on on in the embedded systems family and so um but if you're if you're just your indi individual self and you want to come and help out or provide content 100 percent, just just reach out to us on social media platforms. We're fully open to it. Um, we just, uh, and we'll have a conversation with you, see what, see what uh, you're interested in and see what you can provide content wise. And, and we'll, and we'll go from there. Awesome. So it sounds like everyone from the very new can come and do those workshops, which they can just copy paste in. If you want to do a little legwork in advance, you can start checking your local thrift shops and uh, find things to hack with some CVEs, but they're your own. So that's okay. Uh, all the way through, if you're going to compete in the CTF, like that's, that's a thing that you could do. And if you've got your kids hit DC next gen, and it sounds like you've got some activities built in there. So I think that's like the major highlight. So if this sounds like your thing, you should definitely check out Embedded Systems Village uh, when you hit Hacker Summer Camp. Is there any other highlights or things you want to like let people know for why they should totally come by and at least say hi to your village? Well, uh, other than, you know, like having awesome shirts and awesome swag and all that, the main thing, the, the whole reason why we made up this village was for, for two reasons. One, the most importantly is giving back to the community it is fully set on on um, enriching the community and and that's number two 
education for you guys. So it's education and challenges for, for everybody. So even if you're the best of the best in terms of IoT, we, we We'll try our best to give you some like really interesting challenges and keep you keep you entertained. Um, but even if you know absolutely nothing, we're there for you too. And so everything that we do is for you guys. So if you have any input, we 100% love the input as well because we're always trying to make it better to make it better for you guys. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming on and letting people know about you. And uh, I look forward to seeing everybody at Hacker Summer Camp. Awesome. Adios.